The ASX is tipped to surge today after the S&P 500 had its best day in two years on Friday. That would be back-to-back -back positive days in the share market. We haven't had that for a while. Joining us live now to join in this excitement for the investors this morning after a bruising month is Peter Switzer, founder of the Switzer Report. Pete, welcome back to Australia. So, um, yeah, it's, it's some nice relief. How long this lasts for, we don't know. No. Look, Pete, I think the, I think the bottom line is this. We're seeing what I call the bottoming process in this stock market sell-off that we've endured really since um, the beginning of this year. Uh, and I think probably the interesting numbers coming out of last week was not only the Friday numbers, both in Sydney or Australia and um, the US, and that was the fact that the Dow was up 5.3% for the week, the S&P 500 6.7% and NASDAQ up a big 8.5%. Now, this doesn't mean this is necessarily the start of the sell-off is over, but it shows that there are a lot of buyers waiting for the opportunity when they see that the prices are really, really low, yeah. they are getting in. The buyers are going to need to see is a really good flow of economic data telling the Americans in particular that inflation is starting to peak, it's coming down a little bit, and progressively it will come down, and therefore the Fed won't have to raise interest rates by as much as has been predicted, which has then had people thinking, a recession is coming. If we can get past those two things, what we saw uh, last week will be the start of something big, and I reckon I'll be more excited than that bloke who just did the stop the rocket call. Brad Tucker, yeah, that was amazing, <laughs> amazing commentary. Meanwhile, thirty percent of homes up for auction last week, Pete in Sydney, were pulled. Is it time to sell your home? Um, probably not. Yeah, it's probably wise to wait at the moment. See, the RBA is going uh, on what I call a Freddy Krueger nightmare on Elm Street scare program. All right, yeah, and and they're doing it to scare everybody, to stop us from spending, to try and slow down inflation, while they, they keep their fingers crossed, hoping that China gets out of lockdown quicker than expected and the Ukraine war ends, because they're going to be two big reasons to bring inflation down. But until then, they can only work on the demand side. And and that's our spending. And we are spending a lot of money, Pete. So what they're going to try and do yeah. is scare us. And it's working in the real estate market. You know, you've got predictions out there of 30% house price falls from guys like Chris Joy. It could be over the top, but it works to scare people and explains why 30% of properties that were supposed to go to auction last weekend or last week have been pulled. People are worried that the buyers aren't going to be there. Yeah. The buyers will eventually come back particularly if the supply of houses actually falls. But remember, Sydney in particular, house prices rose 55% over the last three years. So even a 30% fall would still leave somebody 25% better off. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people too waiting to see where the dust settles here as well when it comes to interest rate rises over the next 6 to 12 months as well. Yeah. Uh, Pete, thank you as always. We'll talk to you soon.